okay so these are the five rows that we are left with hey guys welcome back to our channel on this channel we try to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions this video is in continuation of a sql 50 crack sql into in 50 question series where we are trying to learn hands on sql using 50 carefully curated question covering diverse aspect of sql so we are done with the select part basic joins basic aggregate functions sorting and grouping advanced select and joins sub queries and finally we are working on advanced string functions regex and clauses in this video we are going to solve this question called delete duplicate emails and try to learn from it so yeah let's jump right in so this is the 46th video of this series called delete duplicate emails and if i look at the companies this question has been asked in so apple oracle amazon uber a lot of times so kind of an important question let's look at what the question has to say we are given a table called person with two different column id and email id being the primary key for this table each row of this table contains an email the emails will not contain uppercase letters okay we are asked to write a solution to delete all duplicate emails keeping only one unique email with the smallest id for sql users please note that you are supposed to write a delete statement and not a select one okay after running your script the answer shown is the person table the driver will first compile and run your piece of code and then show the person table the final order of the person table does not matter okay so basically what does mean is what you do not have to write a select query because at the end it is going to return the person table so i will just show you that even if you write anything it is actually going to return the person table as it is at that particular moment let's look at the example so here we have you know two different emails but john at example.com is a reputation so in case of reputation we are only going to keep the one with the smallest id so out of one and three one is smallest so one john at example.com and then since bob at example.com is not duplicate so this these two rows should be in our output and that is what we have okay the first thing that is for example you know whatever so as we are mentioning that from this table right from this table called person even if i do anything right so where let's say if, if i want to do id equal to one and let me write select star you know i just want to demonstrate that what does this question actually means to you so even if i did you know id equal to one the output that we are getting is all the three columns why because the question says that the answer shown is the person table that is what we need to keep in mind okay let me just remove this now to do this the logic should be that if you have duplicate emails right so for example if you have duplicate emails you can go ahead and perform a cross join so that for every row you have all the combinations right so what i'm saying is from this table called person right let's alias this as p1 let me cross join the word table but this time with a different alias p2 okay what will this return i cannot show you here because as we just saw that it is going to still return the person table so i have let's switch to excel and see what will this return for us so this was person table with p1 and person table p2 and if i perform a cross join this is what we are going to have okay now based on this we need to find out okay which one which of the emails are duplicated and the id is not the minimum for them right because that is the row that we need to delete from the person table so after performing a cross join this is what we have since if there is a repetition of an email so obviously your email from the first version p1 and p2 should be equal because you know for examples like this right so these does not make any sense because this is john at example this is bob at example these rows does not have any sense to us right so the first condition we can do is where p1 dot email is equal to p2 dot email okay so in this cross join result what are the rows now we are left with with the where clause so obviously this one okay so these are the five rows that we are left with now what we need to find is we need to find the duplicate emails which do not have the highest id because that is what we need to delete so in this case if i do something like this right so if i write and p1 dot id is greater than p2 dot id okay so if i go ahead so these are the five rows that were left after the first filter that is p1.email should be equal to p2.email and which of these have p1.id greater than p2.id not this row not this row not this row only this row 
right and obviously not this row right so so this is the only row that satisfies both the condition so from this right so from this part right so after performing this if i do let me do select p1 dot star what will this return obviously i cannot demonstrate you here but what will this actually return this will return p1 dot star so that means this will return this one right and this is what you need to delete from this right because here the output should be one john at example.com to bob at example.com so this is what you need to delete right so you see if i instead of select write delete here so delete whatever was outputted after performing a cross join and these two filters is going to be your output so let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get so yeah, this is accepted our output you see that th three and john at example.com was deleted right let me go ahead and submit it to pass all the test cases yeah, this is accepted and this is how we do it so yes even though it says easy it is kind of a tricky question because it is the first question where we do not have to write a select statement and we need to write the delete one okay so you see th this is how we need to do and find out the which one of these were duplicates but their id was not the minimum so we found out that part and then we deleted that from the person table so yeah, this is how we do it let me know if there's a better way or more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video